Besides those probably two early shots on the leg side from Sauce, it almost looked like they didn't give a sniff the whole game. No, they didn't. Uh, they're two quality players. I think their their records at this ground against us as well are, are pretty exceptional. I don't know the exact stats, but I can't remember getting them out too many times uh, in the five years that we've played them. So, I mean, they're quality players and, and did not really give us a sniff at all. And, and when the ball doesn't swing early, um, I think that... that Chasing 170, if you don't have to play a shot in anger, um, I mean, it was, it was a pretty clinical display by them. Did you sort of get the sense that against the, against the Sixers, there were times where you, you sort of bowlers, you know, you're a bit loose or whatever, whereas here, you weren't actually that bad, but they just were still too, bit, a little too good? Absolutely. I didn't think we bowled poorly at all. Um, I think maybe seven out of our first nine overs from the top of my head, their last ball went for a boundary. Um, so that's just a concentration thing from our, from our bowlers. But... I mean, that, that happens in 2020 cricket. Boundaries get hit, whether it's first ball, last ball. Um, they were just too good on the night. Better face Joe Burns and Neil Sean Marsh as well. You haven't, it's little bits of life just probably haven't gone your way. I haven't won a toss yet. Do you feel sort of a little bit frustrated three games in? Uh, oh, obviously frustrated. We're one and two. Started off in such good fashion, chasing 180 at the Gabba. Uh, then to get 170 twice and, and lose, uh, which traditionally has been a, a very good score at this mm. ground. Um, I think that... I think there's there's just a, t- a, a few few areas that, that we could polish up on, and, and I think the result could be different. Um, if you if you're going to win the competition, you've got to play against the best players, and Sean Marsh is definitely one of them. Um, and and I think it, it makes if if it can make our our bowlers better, our team better by playing against world class players like Sean and, and seeing how he goes about it, makes our batters better. Just giving giving uh, giving another way to skin a cat, which. Which, like you said, he played two, two big shots early on that he got away with, um, and from then on, he, he did not look like getting out. Was it an important toss to lose? I mean, did that? Would you? How much better would you have been placed if you were chasing in there? I would have chased, like I said at the toss, but at the same time, I wasn't disappointed batting first. I thought that their reasoning for for bowling, sorry, yeah, for bowling first, um, was the right one as well. Um, so I think whichever way you went, I wouldn't have been disappointed either way. If I had won the toss, I would have bowled first, but I mean, the, I don't think the wicket changed too much. A little bit of dew comes on, but not, none, none for 171, different. Is the message to the bowlers after that that you don't actually have to bowl to blokes like that every day? What do you, what do you say to them at the end? No, oh, it's about getting wickets. Um, if you're going to win T20 tournaments and T20 games, you have to get wickets. Um, and we didn't do that. I thought that, that our bowlers, like I said before, they weren't, they weren't poor. They weren't off the mark by, by a hell of a lot very often. I thought Cameron Gannon was outstanding. Um, Nathan Remington again, Dwayne Bravo. Horry just ran into, ran into a steam train there. I, I would have liked to have got him on early in the first six. Um, thought that they might have went with Marcus Harrison and Sean to open the batting, which would have got him into the game nice and early, but it just didn't happen and we couldn't really find the right matchup. Um, for for anyone out there, it was it was a pretty clinical display. So you feel that opening partnerships coming coming along. Their one was unbelievable. <laughs> Yours. Oh, it's it's going well. Yeah. Um, I think ninety eight on the board for the loss of one. Um, yeah, can't ask for much more really. I think the way that the way that Chris is playing, he's trying trying his heart out. Um, he's giving lots of advice. Uh, didn't get off to a fly today, but but I was able to do that. And and then once he got in, he. he picked up pretty quick so uh, that's just the way 2020 goes when you're playing wickets that are a touch slower you can't always walk out and hit them out of the park so uh, yeah it's going going nicely I think our whole batting group's going beautifully at the moment Tom Cooper's been sitting with the pads on for, <laughs> for three games now at seven and hasn't had a hit well even though yourselves and the stars are both now one and two given the size of the crowd tonight are your expectations pretty high of a lot of interest come Saturday's game yeah absolutely I think both teams are almost on wood at the moment I think in the past there's been there's been one or two teams that have been um, not in great form, so you, so you might be able to scrape in with four wins. But now with everyone everyone beating each other uh, and the competition being so tight, I think you have to win five games, and and we're at that stage now where we're we're touch and go. So I mean, for both teams, it, it's going to be a huge crowd. I think uh, there's always a lot of excitement around the derby. Contrasting derbies last year, um, yep. do you revisit the end of your, your finish at the MCD last year when you sort of, you know, you were gone for a money, you dragged it back, luck, chaotic last ball. Do you revisit that at all this week? Or? Yeah, I think so. I think that that, that shows that um, you never lost in the game. I think we saw in the game that, that uh, they lost the other, the other day, that even if a team's ahead, you, you can always drag it back in T20 cricket. And we felt the same way out there tonight. We felt... Even when it got down to a runner ball, if we got one wicket, it was hard. It would have been hard to start 
Um, but it just so happens that we didn't get a chance. I don't, I don't think we had a chance at all. So what was a lot watching Gale smash Holly for six, <laughs> all those sixes at the other end? Oh, he's, a, <laughs> he's such a destructive batsman, especially against spin bowling. Um, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I don't think he got any of them either, and they're going <laughs> second tier. Did he lick his lips and Hoggy came on? Or? Uh, oh, we don't really talk about that too much out there. I think that, that once you've played a lot of cricket, you just get a feel for the game. You don't need to talk a hell of a lot. Um, I know to get off strike pretty quick, quick if Chris... Uh, he seems to run a bit quicker too when the spinners are on to get down the other end. <laughs>